As I step foot in the booth, I come to do one thing. In one thing only. I ain't know they had the Julio Caesar 7 on me. Peace, peace, Black and Nobel. It's your boy. Kenneth Williams, North Philly Hustle, I'm here with a Philadelphia boxing legend, Ivan Mighty Mouse Robinson. He here, came, stepped through Black and Nobel today. I want y'all, but I, 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 I have to, you know, you know, let you know the magnitude of who he is. Like I said, he's a legend in Philadelphia boxing. He had all of the uh, uh, big fights in the amateurs. He had a, a stellar amateur uh, career, stellar professional career, and it's an honor to have, uh, have him here today. Mr. Ivan Mighty Mars Robbins from, from Nice Town, right from Nice Town. So a Nice Town hustler to a North Philly hustler. Nevertheless, it's an honor to be standing here with him. He had all the big fights, Chavez, uh, Tor Gotti. He fought Oscar De La Hoya in the amateurs. Had a stellar amateur career, stellar professional career. And we're glad that he's here in Black and Nobel representing Philadelphia, Nice Town. Ivan Robbins from Mighty Mouth. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Appreciate that. It's an honor to come through black and nobel as he said you know what i'm saying to uh show my presence be here with all you gentlemen you know what i'm saying and you know go through looking at some of my trines with my fights with gaddy you know oscar de la hoya julio cesar chavez and just to be in the community and love being in nice town where i grew up and raised now nah, i mean it's tremendously has yeah, dropped since I came through, um, I'm still trying to keep you know hope alive with all the uh, athletes. We have some great talent here in Philadelphia. We just don't you know get a chance to expose it because I just did a, a survey the other day. We had something like 60 gyms. Now we down to like 10. So the fight game has definitely fell off. Um, like I was telling him earlier, um, promoters really don't try to uh, give out money to our to our youth because. I you don't do dumb things with it. You know, they take money and do other things than trying to help their family or, you know, get a business established, those type of things. And the promoters are looking at it and, and feels though that, you know, these guys are not really wanting to do it. The boxing, you know, a lot of boxers don't have, um, how can you say it? They don't have, well. Somebody telling them or Yeah, that what too. To and then at the end of our careers, we don't have, financial situations where we already invested our money into doing these type of things. When when our guys make that fast money, they blow it as fast as they get houses, cars, women, you know, and they, they forget about their kids. They forget about if they're married, the long run, the jeopardy of the long run of boxing. Because boxing is short-lived, baby. You can fight for three years and be champion, and after that, you're a done deal. If you're not in the market no more, or if you're not in the business, you've forgotten about it. And, and to, to, to add on to what you said, like you said, it, it's a business, and most of the promoters, they have no concern or no care what happened to the boxers anyway. As long as they fatten their pockets up, that's yeah, the main me. thing. And I'm talking to you, Russell Pelts. You got a lot of these Philadelphia <laughs> fighters that, that that's destitute. We talking about, like you talk about Butterfly Crawley, Charlie Choo Choo Brown, Benny Briscoe, all these Philadelphia fighters that was legends. That that when, when you look at them, they they in, in dire situations. You know what I mean? Can't basically feed themselves. And you got a, you got promoters, one of the uh, foremost promoters in this country, especially in this area, Russell Peltz, who promoted most most of these fighters and done nothing for them. So we talking to you, Russell Peltz. So what what fight was this? This was the Arturo Gotti. You know it's crazy. I don't even know the colors. Everybody can think of the colors, and they go by the fights. But I believe this is the first one. What well, they fought him and Artur Gotti fought three times. No, right? twice. Oh, twice, twice, and both of them was fighters of the year. You know what I mean? Two of the uh, and look on ESPN Classic is always going to be Ivan Robinson versus Artur Gotti. I've never seen a fight of that magnitude going back and forth. And glad to say that our people came out on top. You know yeah. what I mean? But again, he's a legend. He come through the through the kind of Meldrick Teller, David Reed, Benny Briscoe, Bernard Hopkins, all these dudes, and he's right up in there. Ivan Robinson, Mighty Mo. Yeah. Thanks for having me again, fellas. Hey yo, can you before you can you give us a little one two step? You mean give him a little tutorial, you know, for the people? What you want me to throw something? <laughs> throw something, yeah. uh, I'm retired, man. Oh, man. I don't do that no more. <laughs> but just for y'all, I'm gonna do that. I haven't did it in 
like four years. You know what I'm saying? I think I still got it. So I'm gonna show you a little something. Remember? And I'm gonna show you the jab, hook, and right hand. It's gonna be kind of quick. So you gotta be ready. You ready for it? See what I'm saying? That's how it goes. We got jab, hook, right hand. We got to slow that down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take it a little slow. Jab, hook. Right hand, you gotta step with each punch because if you fight an opponent and he step back, you're not gonna hit him. So you gotta step with each shot. Each Ooh. shot. Kinda, <laughs> kinda kinda really looking, man. As I step As I foot step in, foot the, in booth, the booth, I come, I come to, I do to do one thing. One thing. In one thing only.